What is going on guys, welcome back to another episode on the Chaos Craft server. Last episode guys, we worked a little bit more on my shop and we basically finalized all the items we are going to sell and the price, not the pricing yet, that's what I want to kind of work out in this episode. Um, minus one more item, we need to figure out what this is, but I've got a kind of an idea for it. But last episode, we... we we decided we're going to sell horse armor and ice on top of everything else that we're selling. So if you don't know what it is, obsidian, saddles, packed ice, ice, horse armor, a spare item there, which we don't know yet. All different kinds of armor, so iron and diamond armor there. So this is kind of like uh, everything from helmets to boots and then swords and bows and I, I i've decided that the swords and the bows are going to be enchanted so they're going to be worth a little bit more and and then all different kinds of potions so i kind of it's kind of like a battle shop isn't it you can sell you can buy all the different things and stuff like that so that is what we did in the last episode and you guys gave me loads of suggestions on what to sell for this last item here um i think i've come to a decision on what i want to do what I think I'm going to do here, I'm going to wait till 1.8, I think, and maybe sell one of the new 1.8 blocks, like maybe slime blocks or maybe lapis because lapis comes more valuable in 1.8 because you need it to enchant. So maybe something like that. I'm not sure, but I might just leave it for now. I don't need to fill up every single item in the shop and I've got a lot of items already for sale so um, I'm not ready to open yet I know a lot of you guys uh, even the people on the server want me to open and I know they've visited my shops in their, in their episode but I'm not open yet I'm not open for business um, we need to start working out the pricing and a basement which I'm not sure where I'm gonna put I might put down it might put it down here or I might make a little staff room somewhere I'm not sure. My my first thought is just to put it here. Just to put it here maybe and just like just like dig down. Do I have a shovel? No, I don't. Just dig down here. This is my first thought. Just to put it like down here and then go down here or something. I haven't even started to dig it out, guys. I've been so busy. It's crazy. But let's just put a torch down here. So that that's my first thought on where to put it. Maybe I'll just put it there and we have a little staff room here. I think that look cool. Yeah, because you can't really see it either. So that looks pretty good. So I might put the the basement down in that area as well. But guys, just before I get too far into the episode, I just want to say a few things. Um, if I sound a little bit different today, it's because I am really, really tired. Like super, super tired. Um, oh, filled up with saddles there. That's cool. I am super super tired. Reason being is because it's been a pretty hectic day at work today. I have a project to finish off. I have a website. If you guys didn't know, I am a web designer and uh, I build websites for the company that I work for and I have a website deadline that I need to meet. So today has been really crazy that I've the dead sign the deadline's getting close and I was quite a little bit away behind on it so um because of everything that was going on so i was wor working really hard today to try and get it finished um you can even ask Zai, she was waiting for me for lunch today and uh i was late coming home because usually i come home at 1 30 and i was just at work and i just totally forgot the time and i didn't get out till two o'clock so i was late coming home for lunch and then i was late after work because i got held 10 uh, five minutes after work and then there was traffic on the way home it's just been crazy and then i get home and i have to go to the shops to go and get some stuff for the house and then i've only really just got back i sat down for about 20 minutes um i meant to start recording probably about 20 minutes ago but i just get distracted start looking around on the internet talking to people on skype and then i think damn i gotta record so <laughs> this is where i am right now guys i'm just doing it um really tired not sure how long the episode is going to be but i really wanted to get an episode up for your guys, you guys today i didn't really want to skip it i was really close to skipping it if i'm completely honest with you really really close but i didn't i didn't want to do it not at all but today guys i want to kind of work out prices and how we are going to do it and i need your help with it i really really do because i'm pretty clueless on how i'm going to price these things up and what a fair price is so what i think we're going to do is i'm going to say the prices that first come to my head and then i want you guys in the comments to tell me whether you agree with that price or whether you would buy it for that price because that's the only way i can think of. what was that was that a sign 
Bring it on, con man. Oh, because we said it was competition. Has he started selling stuff again now? Because I know he's organised his shop. Let's see if he's actually put any prices and stuff on there. Let's go and have a look. Oh, he is selling stuff. Let's have a <gasps> he started selling puffer fish. Wow, he started selling puffer fish. That is direct competition there because I sell the potions. Um, leather. So he's selling three puffer fish for one diamond. Three puffer fish for one diamond. I'm just trying to work out because if he's selling three puffer fish for one diamond, why would you? If you buy three puffer fish, that means for one diamond you can make three. You can make three water breathing potions for one diamond. No, 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 you can make nine. You can make nine water breathing potions for one diamond. Hmm. See, that's going to affect my pricing a lot. So if, if, you, if you can make one, for one diamond, you can make nine water breathing potions. What am I going to sell my potions for? Maybe I will sell my potions for, I don't know, like, one uh, uh, one iron for one potion or something like that maybe one piece of iron for one potion i don't know what do you guys think he's selling 48 leather for one diamond he's selling three iron blocks for one diamond that's a bit expensive hardened clay 64 for one diamond glowstone and that's all he's selling then my main concern is this one because that affects my potions because someone could come here buy three of these and then make nine water breathing potions that doesn't mean they will be eight minutes though because eight like they need to get the redstone as well they need to get the water bottles and they need to get the never war and all that stuff so if they come to my shop i kind of cancel that whole process out so instead of buying the puffer fish they could just come straight over here and then buy the potion instead just buy the potion which is eight minutes straight away but I need to get a good price because now he's selling them one diamond for three puffer fish. So what should I pray? Oh, do I sell them in bulk? Do I sell like, cause I think I should sell them in threes. I think that'd be a good idea because if I sell them in threes, yeah, because you brew them in threes, don't you? See what I could do is cancel his whole process out completely and sell three water breathing potions for one diamond. I think that would work good. Because he's selling... Th I'll keep saying this, but I'm just trying to work it out. He's selling three puffer fish for one diamond. Which will then give you nine potions for one diamond. But I'm cancelling out that whole process completely. So you don't have to catch the puffer fish. You don't have to go and get the never wall. You don't have to brew the potions. And you don't have to get the redstone because it's eight minutes long. So if I sell three water breathing potions for one diamond. Maybe that's worth it. I like that. I like that. Three, three potions for one diamond. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's put that price up. Let's put that up. So three. How else to say it? Three. Potions. I'm going to have to go over there and check see how they price it. Three potions, one, one diamond. So maybe that, maybe that's good. Con Connor's kind of messed me up here because I'm going to go and check other people's pricing and stuff, how they put it on their signs. I don't know how Max does it. Let's go and check him out because I know Max sells in charting books. I might need some books. He just said, he just say three diamonds coming soon, coming soon. I like that. Lucky to see. He, he does his well. I like the way he does his. How did Command do his? I've got the worst memory sometimes when it comes to this stuff. I'm always going to look back to see what I need to do. Let's go and check this one out. Um, Command has got, he just says 48 for one diamond. So how can I do it? How do I do it? Um, what I might do as well. Maybe I will do a sell option so people can come to me and sell their items if they want and I'll buy it, buy their items off them if they want. Kind of like that 
So pr three potions, one diamond. So let's do it how Max did it. Let's put three potions. And then I think he did that. And then one diamond. Oh, diamond. So what do you think, guys? Do you think that's reasonably priced? Three potions and you got... Any three of these potions you can pick from in these this chest here is well what any three water breathing potions is for one diamond. I think. So night vision is golden carrots. Is that hard to get? Golden carrots, is that hard to get? Um no carrots pretty easy. Gold, but if you need it. So um, I'm trying to think which one's invisibility. What's invisibility? Is carrots again? Um, fire resistance, regen, and speed. I think the speed one's pretty good. Any three for one diamond is pretty good. So let's do that again. Um, three potions, one diamond. Oh. Like that. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Fair. So, oh, I'm running out of um, materials. Have I got any spruce wood in here? No, I don't. I know Coco Smackdown has a load. Sorry, Coco. I'm going to steal all your stuff. Um, any here? Oh, I've only got planks. Not planks. Half slabs. Let's go and check see what Coco... Whoa, creepers. No, no, no. Whoa. Did you see that creeper just jump off the top of his, his place? No. Oh, creeper. Oh, why are you creepers? Just leave me alone. Oh, did I steal all these planks already? I think I did. Oh, he's got spruce wood. Let's, I'm going to take this Coco Smackdown. Sorry. But I need to make signs. I will tr if I remember, I will replace it. But I never remember. So I can't make any promises. Put that back up. That'll do. I'm thinking three. I think every single one. Three potions for one diamond is pretty good. Maybe I could do three for one. Or. Five. No, because then. No. Three for one. Or. Six for something. Let's see. I, I'm not going to do six for two because this is pretty obvious. But maybe three for one or six for one, one diamond and two iron or something like that. I think that might be good, but I'll put any kind of special offers up here on this side here. I think that would be cool. But I think every single potion, three for one diamond, is pretty good. Let me know what you think, guys. Like, if you think I should charge more for these, put your prices in the comments of what you think it should be. But this stuff, packed ice and all that kind of stuff, what should that be? Um, stack wise. So should I sell this in stacks of 32 or st or just normal stacks? If I sell it in stacks, it's going to be priced more. I think stacks is a bit better. People are more likely to buy stacks than anything else. So let's pile these back up. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's pile all these back up. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm all over the place. There we go. That's all the ice and stuff I've got. So let's pile that back up there. Um, packed ice. So what can I sell packed ice for? One, maybe one stack, two diamonds, I think, for packed ice. Sounds pretty good. Um, let's say one stack, two diamonds. So for two diamonds, you get one stack of packed ice. Maybe that's too cheap. And this is what we're trying to work out, guys. And then ice. Ice is quite easy to get. So what I might sell ice for is one stack and then maybe sell it for... I might sell ice for iron. So one stack for... Let's say... 10 iron maybe 10 iron one stack for 10 iron that might whoa my not enough items come on do you see that at the top of my screen um so that might be a bit too much i don't know i don't know one stack 10 iron 
one stack, two diamonds. Saddles are rare, which you can only find in dungeons, so I might just do one saddle for one diamond. That's what I might do for that one. Saddle. Oh, it's raining. One diamond. So I think that's a good price. Um, I'm out of signs. Obsidian is quite expensive, but the, everyone needs free diamond to mine obsidian. So I want to kind of make it worthwhile. So if I sell a stack of obsidian, that's going to take a long time. Getting a stack of obsidian, how many diamond pickaxes does that take, people? So what if I do one stack for five diamonds? Because technically that's less than two pickaxes. So if I make it worth their while. So one stack for five diamonds. That's what I might do. But bear in mind people who are watching my video. Who want to kind of buy off me. Or people on the Cows Crafts server. If you buy in bulk. I will give you a deal. That is, that is the offer right there. But I'm going to say one stack for five diamonds. So one stack. five diamonds I have no idea what I'm gonna sell my armor for yet but guys let me know if you think these prices are good one stack for two diamonds well one sad one saddle for one diamond uh, one stack for five di oh, one stack for five diamonds of obsidian maybe that's a bit expensive it seems a little bit expensive that one because if you have an efficiency five pit you can get a stack of obsidian pretty quick yeah, I might do four, maybe three, three. One stack for three diamonds, because that's like one pickaxe. So, one stack, three diamonds. So maybe, I don't know. Um, we've put, let's, so let's price horse armor. Horse armor is quite expensive. Let's do... I don't know what to do with horse armor because it all depends on what stock I have in. At the moment, I only have iron horse armor. And how many, let's say roughly, it'd probably take about three, four, five, six, maybe six pieces of iron for one piece of armor. Yeah, I think that's good. Six, six ores. I'm going to put ores. One armor because, because if you're watching this, guys, depending on what the armor is, you have to give me six of that ore if you know what I mean. Six ores, one armor. So, if it's gold armor, you give me six pieces of gold. If it's if it's diamond armor, you give me six pieces of diamond. If it's iron armor, you give me six pieces of iron. So, I'll put six ores, one armor. So I think that's I think that's fair pricing, guys. I like that. I like that pricing. That's pretty good. So so far, guys, I'm going to leave it as that. I'm not, we're not going to do the armor just yet. We've priced up the potions and we've priced up this stuff. But I need you guys to tell me what you think. And I'm going to dig out of the basement soon when I get some time. But right now, guys, I'm going to head back over to my place because I have heard some news that the new member on the server, Matthias, is really close to my house and at the moment the theme of the server is all about making money because we're we're all doing our shops and stuff like that but do you guys remember in my live stream when i had someone who lived near me and i burnt down his house because he didn't pay me rent so maybe if matthias is as close as what i think he is maybe he should start paying me rent i might leave him a little sign saying um your first rent payment is due in the first two weeks. I haven't had his deposit yet to move for moving in on my territory. So we might have to go over there and have a quick little look to see where he is. But yeah, let's go over there, guys. See where how close he actually is to my house. But in the meantime, guys, have you guys been watching the World Cup? If you have been watching the World Cup, tell me what team you are supporting. The other day, I watched Mexico versus Brazil with Sai, And I was kind of teasing her a little bit because all my life I've kind of liked Brazil even though I'm from England I've kind of always followed Brazil and uh, I was like I have a Brazil shirt that I got from years ago like it has Ronaldinho on the back if people who, who know football will know who he is and uh, I was like putting it on and dancing around and she was getting really annoyed <laughs> but I took it off in the end and I was sporting Mexico for her even though I followed Brazil for the longest time but 
it was a good game and Mexico played really really well they played really well considering um, I was quite surprised with how they played because even though they barely just qualified to get in the World Cup they're playing really well the first two games it looks like they're going to go through which will be interesting to see who they get in the next round I know you can already tell who they're going to get because you can just work it out because by the draw of the competition it kind of tells you who's going to get through the ladder kind of thing but yeah, it'd be interesting to see what actually happens. The, the game so but so far have been really good. I've been really enjoying them. Holland looked really good because they like killed Spain the other day. And I thought Spain was going to be one of the better teams. And I said that in my live stream because uh, Spain are like the previous champions. They won the World Cup last, last time, four years ago. And then they won the European Cup as well, which was only two years ago. So they got a really good team. And two of the... Two of the Spanish teams, like Barcelona and Real Madrid, are arguably two of the best teams in the world at the moment. So it just makes sense that Spain would be good because they've got a lot of the Spanish players are from Barcelona and Real Madrid as well. So it just made sense, but it's not the case. I think as I'm talking to you right now, they're losing, I think, against Chile. So um, we have to see what happens. Oh my God, there's a witch. There's a witch. But if I'm right, I think Matthias just lives over this hill. And if he does, that is a little bit too close, man. Oh, what did she give me? Oh, glowstone. Cool. Oh, a potion. I can sell that in my shop. What is it? Instant health. <gasps> Maybe make a witch farm and then start selling potions. Oh, there's trees down there that look like... Whoa, Matthias, I didn't mean it. Ah. This is pretty close. There is so much stuff around here. Uh, go away, people. Right, where is he? Where does he live? Oh, I should go over to the tree farm, really, shouldn't I? Is that a tree farm? No, it doesn't look like a tree farm. I thought he lived on the other side of this mountain, so maybe he's not as close as what I... Oh! Here we go! So my house is just over there! Matthias! I stole your cobblestone. Let's see what he's got. He's, uh, he must have been on quite recently. Well, he's got one diamond, ten iron, emeralds. This diamond looks like a good rent payment to me, to be honest, Matthias. I might just take it for a deposit. Because um, you haven't paid me for the rent. Um, let me leave him a sign and say, Rent is due in two weeks now let's not say two weeks, two weeks is a long time rent is due in one week and then put a smiley face and then say bigs with a little heart as well no wrong way oh yeah that way there we go so rent is due in one week bigs just to let him know that he's a little bit close to my property and this is technically my land so if you want to live on my land he might have to pay rent I might let him off for a bit because he's a new member to the server and he's a really nice guy but what do you guys think let me know in the comments if you think I should charge him rent for living so close to my house why can't I sprint and that notification thing at the top is really annoying me I'm going to have to turn it off after the episode he must have been on oh no that's me that was me I was thinking he must have been on recently because there's a lot of blocks that are just loading in. Well, not loading in. There are a lot of drops that haven't been picked up yet, but maybe the chunks are not loading in. So it's not even that far. How many blocks? Oh, let's count this. This is like 6... That was like 618. No, because there's my thingy there. I haven't started on my village yet, guys. I plan to do that in the live stream or if I get some time this weekend. I plan to do it, but... It's just been crazy guys. I'm never ever usually this busy as what I have been over these last month. Like I've been so so busy. It's crazy to me. I've usually got so much free time on my hands and I just do whatever I want. <laughs> but this last month I've just been so so busy. But guys I think I'm going to call the episode an end right here. Um, 
because I'm just super tired and I th and I need you I need your guys feedback so I can go on further and start doing the prices and stuff and you guys can tell me what you think of all the prices that we did but guys um thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you again in another episode on the chaos craft server <laughs>